Cam can do it all week long. Cameron Fontana learning to do something new. Yeah, super cool, right? His New Year's resolutions. He has taken on woodworking and scuba diving. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we know he can eat, but now he is <laughs> right? in the kitchen learning how to cook, Cam. <laughs> Oui, oui, Karen, I love to eat, and today we are learning the fine cuisine of the French. With me is Trisha Wheeler of the Edible Columbus. How are you doing? Good, how are you? So what are we going to be learning to cook today, Trisha? We are going to be making a French-style omelet, a uh, croque monsoir, a macaroni and cheese from our homemade bechamel sauce, and a sabillon. I am so here. excited. Yes. This is going to be so much fun. <laughs> We're going to throw it back to you guys, and I might keep talking French all morning. I don't know. <laughs> Trisha just keeps giggling. It's funny. Here I we go. I think you should. I think you absolutely nice. should. All week long, Cameron Fontana is learning something, you know, learning something new. It's, yeah, it's exciting. Why Cameron He's, can do it. And uh, this morning he is live in Clintonville learning how to cook. So what accent are we going with this time, Cam? You know, Pete, we're going to go with a good old-fashioned American accent right now uh, because it's very hard to multitask with Trisha over here. <laughs> Trisha's with Edible Columbus, and she owns the Seasoned Farmhouse yes. here. How are you doing, Trisha? Good, good. So we're cooking omelets right now in the style of the French. Yes. Which, where did you train? Um, the French Culinary Institute. And in, you in love New York. cooking. I love it. You I love, love it. it. I love so it. So what are we making right now? What we're are making a French-style omelet. So you've just whisked these three eggs up really well, and okay. then we're going to dump it did in. You, wait, say that again. Whisk them well. How well? Very well. Really, really well. well. There okay, we go. go on. So pour it in. Yes, pour it in. And now you want to be shaking okay. and scrambling at the same time. Let me see. Let me okay. see if I can do it. Am I doing it go right? Ahead. Yep, shaking and scrambling. Yes, chef. On, on the on the burner. On, on the, the burner. burner. Oh, on, on the I burner. I have to get Down. lower? Yeah, like this. Yeah. Oh, like oh, that. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. So Perfect. what makes it French? What, what do the French know, do different? It, they don't brown their omelets, so I just added in a little filling of a little peppers. And then, okay, see how it's starting to set? You're doing great. Shaking and I'm, shaking. This and, is hard. <laughs> Okay. It tastes delicious. Keep moving. Good. It, it's You're, worth it. It's, it's, you want to keep moving around? Okay. 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 Uh -oh. Good. All right. Now do do this so that it all goes like yes, that. Yes, chef. Yeah. I feel like I'm on Hell's Kitchen. Okay. <laughs> You're doing here we good. go. You're doing good. You're okay. Doing good. Now what? Okay. Now you're gonna want to start to fold. So you're gonna want to start taking it and rolling oh, okay. it and folding it. Let me fold yes. it and look at it. Fold it all the way down oh, to the beautiful. end. Oh, it's beautiful. It's breaking yes. a little bit. You're doing good. But you're I like good. how it's not brown. No, so it's gonna be very juicy. Beautiful. Yes. Okay. And now you let it set for a second. Okay. And then you're gonna roll it out onto. You're gonna kind of delicately roll okay, it onto Okay. So that I'm gonna set plate. my fork down. We're gonna throw it back to you guys. If this isn't French beauty, I don't know oh, what is. Mm. There you go. Bon wow. appetit, guys. That looks amazing. <laughs> kind of looks I'm like a so hippo <laughs> from this angle, stuff. too. It is quarter after eight, and it's day three of Cam Can Do It. In honor of the new year, he is learning how to cook. He is live in Clintonville. All right, Cam, so you made a French omelet. Mm -hmm. What are you making now? That's right, Karen. I'm going to have to ask Trisha again what we're making because I already forgot. Br Brishmel? <laughs> Bechamel. Bechamel. I was close. I was a Bechamel with yes. a smorgasbord. Um, but we, this is French style cooking. Yes. And we just put the butter in because what is a brush? Bechamel. Bechamel. Uh, it's a base. It's a base for a lot of dishes. So once the butter melts, we're going to put that flour in. But, oh. we'll, but it's okay. I see you already messed up. It's oh, okay. I'm sorry. It's okay. You're going to start whisking that up. Okay, so. whisk it up. And. What you're doing now is you're creating a roux. So a roux is the base um, for the bechamel. Okay. It's a thickener, and we'll add hot milk to it. And then a traditional bechamel is flavored with two things, cayenne and nutmeg. OK, cayenne and nutmeg. And you went to France, and you actually learned from them as well, not only from New York. But I mean, talk about this culture that's behind their style of cooking. I think they just have a love of cooking and entertaining. And so we, um, we benefited from years of their wonderful cooking, uh, translating down from um, these great recipes. Yeah, so and, and it really is all about the flavor. The flavor and just a homemade from scratch. OK, so can we pour that in? Yes, we okay. can start to drizzle the milk in. And you're going to be whisking while I do it. And then this sauce takes 20 minutes. So I have to whisk for 20 minutes? You have to whisk for 20 minutes. Oh my gosh. And when we come back, you'll have a nice, beautiful sauce. All right, Marshall, well, for the next 20 minutes, you know what we'll be doing. We'll be whisking this and I know you can appreciate it because you're a foodie. Think of the think of the the arm muscles you're building right now by doing all of that whisking, right? I mean, Good. you're just you're working yeah. out right now is what's happening. Well, hey, Cameron Fontana is in the kitchen this morning. Yes, he's not cooking Mexican food. No. He's kind of focusing on the French culinary <laughs> arts. He's live in Clintonville <laughs> to learn how to cook. What are you making this time, Cam? 
Oui, oui, Karen, this is going to be so delicious. <laughs> she said French, so I had to switch it on for a second. So remind our viewers, I'm going to pour this yes. onto the bread. Yes. What ingredients are on this bechamel? Bechamel. So bechamel. it started with just flour and milk, or flour and butter, okay. making a roux, and then we added the warm milk, and then we end it with cayenne and nutmeg. Now, don't forget that in between that we've been stirring for, for 20, 20 minutes. minutes. Oh, yes. I'm dripping everywhere. It's okay. okay, you can hold it over so there. So put it over here. Yeah. And is this a good amount to put That's on it? That's perfect. Okay, yeah. so, so now that we have that so on. So our bechamel is this homemade bread. This is a Jacques Pepin, one bread um, in a pot okay. recipe. And then we took mustard and we baked it for a minute. Mm. So it's hard. Now you've added the bechamel. Yep. Is that right? Yep, exactly like that. Okay. And you're going to take this nice black forest ham. Got it. And then and add then, some cheese. And then you add the Gruyere. Oh, yeah? the Gruyere. What's, yeah. is this like fancy cheese? It's a good, it's like a Comte or a Gruyere, which is a nice French style, hard cheese. Now this is tang. the finished product right over here. Look at that. Once we stick this in the oven, Yes, so we're making that. open face today. Open face? Yes. And speaking of the sauce, if you have yes. some left over, yes. you can use you can it get, for... You can get another meal out of this. You know what, you're gonna put your cheese oh. in first. Cheese. Cheese, and a little, we'll do a mixture of two cheeses. Okay. Let's do that cheddar, nice mild cheddar and a little bit of the Gruyere, and you can mix that together. All right. And then this is what makes the base of a, um, a macaroni and cheese sauce. You should mix, yeah, you can mix it in there. Is that good? Yeah. Look at that. And then what, what do we top it with? And then we're going to top it with some homemade breadcrumbs. Oh, and right stuff. over here. So this is, instead of buying any macaroni and cheese, here's what you can do. You can make your own. Look at that. Well, and we're going to continue doing this and stick this in the oven and throw it back to you guys. Edwin, hand me that. This oh, my open gosh. Face. You're like no. Julia Child this morning. It's like that movie Julia and Julia, but it's oh, Cameron my gosh. and Julia. I don't really you should talk like this, Cam. <laughs> oh, there he goes digging in. Oh, my oh. gosh, between him and Phil. I know, right? Oh, hey. And we are back with our our cam about town. This guy, he, <laughs> he he does a little bit of everything. And we are going to check back in with him this morning because he's got cooking at hand now. He's been in the kitchen in Clintonville all morning, and he's been learning how to cook. So when are you making dinner? You know what? I was going to say, Marshall, what I have learned how to do today is perfectly whisk. You're a good I feel whisker. like I've been doing it for three hours straight now between everything we've been cooking. But what is this that we're making? You're making a sabillon, which is one of my most favorite dessert sauces. You can make a dessert with the three ingredients yeah. we talked about. Um, eggs sugar and your favorite alcohol. Okay, so this takes about 10 minutes to make. Yes, That's why exactly. I'm finishing the one I made here. Yes. Show our viewers what they okay, have to do so to kind of get started. Okay, so you're going to put three things in. You have a double boiler, so it can be a pan with a simmering what water. What does that do? What's a the... simmer, simmering water. You want it to heat, but not right on the okay. heat. Okay. And you start with the sugar and the champagne we're using today. You can use um, your favorite wine. You can use um, oh, so a liqueur. Yes, absolutely. Um, then so once you do that, you wait for the sugar to the dissolve. The sugar to dissolve. You see, you're a pro. Oh, yeah. Look at you. Okay, I'm making a mini version. I'm making a half version right okay. now of what you just made. So then we start, once that's dissolved, then we add the egg yolks. And then we just whisk until you're like so where you are. So you get to this are. point. Yes, exactly. And let's see those, let's pull those berries yes, over here. Yes, pull those berries. And then this is the perfect dessert so I to just serve pour it over. On top? You can drizzle that over the berries. Oh, let me see. Can I just do um, all of it? Yeah, not all of it. Oh, okay, not all of it. <laughs> I'm like, uh, I'm getting a little be. generous. Is that there good? There you go, that's good. Yes. Oh my and so gosh. now you guys can taste that. Oh, hand stuff. me one of these spoons. Yes, we got, here's our tasting spoons. Yes, or oh, yeah. we've got some right there. Now and we're going to put all these that. recipes on our website yes. later today on gooddaycolumbus.com. Yes. And coming up next, we're going to talk about how you can sign and up for think. the classes and learn from the master <laughs> and learn to make delicious things like this. We're going to throw it back to you guys. Mm. Taste, 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 and... And? Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> he hated it. Hated it. Poor guy. The things we make him do. Yeah, huh? eat the Terrible. Whole, the whole bowl. Good for him. <laughs> you know, cooking does not have to be a hassle this year. Or any year. Actually. Any year for that Cameron matter. Cameron Fontana learning some new skills in the kitchen this morning. So let's find out what he's learned next. Cam? Hey, welcome back, guys. Now, Trisha, how have I done this morning? You've done chef? so well. Yes. I am so impressed. Woohoo! You're on We're your learning way. learning how to cook. Now, this is really cool because it's kind of off the cuff. Yeah. Edwin asked what the best store brand dressing is, and you said, whoa, 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 whoa. We can't, we can't buy dressing. We can't buy dressing. We have to make our own. Yes. So you put something together. Tell yes. me about the ingredients that people can make sure. homemade dressing. I love to teach people to make their own dressing. Let's start with mustard. Okay. So I use mustard in almost every dressing. A good Yep, a good, good spoonful. Yep, that's great. A little, little bit more. Yep, a little more. Okay. And then something sweet. So it could be honey, it could be maple syrup, it could be jam. So in this case, we're using some apricot preserves. Put it all in there. Oh, all of it. Okay. Yeah. You could use brown sweet. sugar. Yep. Got it. And then let's do um, 
And then you need something tangy, so some apple cider vinegar. So I'll tell you when to stop. All right. Keep going, keep going, keep going. OK, stop. Yes, chef. Yes. <laughs> and then we're going to put some chives in. You could put shallot, chives, garlic, All right. anything to kind of add a little bit. And then we're going to shake that. We'll put a little salt in. A little bit of salt. OK. And then let's add the olive oil. Oh. And, then, and then we'll shake it all up, and we have a dressing. Look at that. Now, there while we, we shake it up, I want to tell everybody, because you yes, have Edible Columbus. Yes. Where can people find the magazine? You know, it, it's um, a detailed list on our website at Edible Columbus. Com. It's at all of our advertiser locations, about 55 locations around town. And how can people sign up for classes if they want to learn something new and get in the kitchen? We'd love to meet, meet any of the guests um, at the seasonfarmhouse.com. Perfect. Well, I think okay. the last thing we're going to do is just pour it. Go ahead and we'll, yep. Here I we usually go. taste it first just to double check. You know what? Gonna, I feel good. I've done such a good job this I morning, feel good. apparently. <laughs> I'm just going to put it all over. That's enough. I've bounced it. <laughs> We're going to throw it back to you guys. And Edwin, here you go. Sorry if I put too much on there. Trisha? Yes, thank there you. There you go. As the French say, bon, bon appétit. appétit. Yes. Bon yes. appétit. Yes. Well done, Cam.